I'm going to press T for trim. I'm going to trim away this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to press letter L to close this as a profile. Left click here and zooming in. Left click here. Pressing letter T for trim to trim away this arc. Pressing escape. Trying to move our entities. And now we can perform a mirror command. Going to sketch, going down, and selecting mirror. We are prompted to select objects. I'm going to select this arc. So notice we have two entities here overlapping. So what I can do to select the line, I'm going to hover our cursor, zooming in over here. I'm going to hold my left mouse button. So notice there's a dialog here. On this sketch curve is our construction line and this one is our target line. Left click. So we now have two objects selected, this one and this one. So left click here. Zooming out. Left click. Selecting this line, this arc, this line, and finally this arc for our mirror line. If you remember, we have created this vertical construction line. Selecting mirror line. Selecting our construction line. So notice it gave us a preview of the other half. And finally, hit OK. So notice the color, meaning this one is now a profile in which we can now perform an extrusion. I'm going to press letter E for extrude. We are prompted to select a profile. Selecting this profile, We're going to Home View for Direction. First, I'm going to grab this arrow, go back to Direction, selecting Symmetric, and key in 0.5. And finally, hit OK. So congratulations for completing this part model.